I'm Jackie Young, and today I'll be sharing with you a piano music called Lament by Alan Zwilich. Zwilich was born and raised in Miami, Florida, and she's a proud alumni of Florida State University. She's the first woman composer to win the Pulitzer Prize for music, and she is also the first woman to earn Juilliard's Doctor of Musical Arts in Composition. Almost everyone experienced the death of a loved one in our life, and including Zwilich too. Her piece Lament is written in memory of her close friend Judith Aaron, who is the past executive director of the Carnegie Hall. This、uh, piece Lament is full of darkness, very heavy, sorrowful, depressive, and hopeless. This piece、uh, presents multiple layers of sadness, and allowed、um, a performer to use it for occasion like funeral. Written in postmodernism and neo romanticism, it is not、uh, fully a tonal. You can still can hear、uh, a tonal progression in this piece. And what I like about this music is that it gives、uh, interpreters or, or pianists. To explore different、uh, variety of colors, tone colors, and then there's also、uh, chances for pianists to explore rhythmic stretching, because uh, 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 Zwilich encouraged、uh, a lot of uses of rubato in this music, and then、uh, there are also a wide range of dynamics too, and then、uh, very free control of pedaling, which allows、uh, pianists again to de- explore different、uh, resonance, and then.、Um, Uh, musical flow as well, and then there are several challenges in this piece. First of all, is the irregular meters; it almost change every measure. So the only advice for this one is just remember to keep counting on on every beats. And then is the、uh, the, uh, the rich、uh, writing of octaves throughout the whole piece. So this is a very good piece for students to learn how to play octaves. And then the、uh, the advice that I have. Is to never lock your wrist, and then rem- remember after you play each octave to、uh, to relax your thumb so you don't stretch,、uh, overstretch. And the third challenge that I found was the maturity of the piece, since this is dedicated to a friend who just passed away. So I think、uh, students couldn't play this piece in a too straightforward way. It has to have a certain amount of emotion invested in it, and the. Uh, the last challenge, as I mentioned earlier, is the free use of rubato. It's a very good piece to、uh, let students explore、uh, rubato, and then even Zwilly herself recommended that there are no two performances that are performed exactly the same way. And、uh, this is not included、uh, in any of the standard、uh, exam pieces book.、Uh, it is not included, but、uh, this is my、uh, prediction. If they are、uh, were to include it, so for Henley Ertz, it would be probably level five or six.、And、for Royal Conservatory of Music, it would be around level nine to ten. For ABRSM and Trinity, it would be around grade eight. And lastly, for Elfer, it would be for early advanced student. This is published and only published、uh, and included in this book called the Carnegie Hall Millennium Piano Book. You can get this book from Amazon and also from Buse and Hawks、uh, website. Um, this is book is、um, actually initiated by the friend, her Jewish friend who passed away, Judith Aaron. She's the one who initiated this project by commission a living composer and include them, included a great American composer's work and then published in this book. So I hope you enjoy my interpretation of Jewish lament. Thank you.
Thank you.